Alicia Bumgarner is great too, but I, in my personal opinion, I think uh, Crystal Shields is the greatest to do it. But she just dropped a diss track, not just to Alicia Bumgarner, you know, they got their little feud and back and forth, but also to all of her, uh, all of her haters, you know. Trying to come for me, at least you come harder. You reap what you sow, nothing but a bum garden hater. hater. Damn. Yeah. Now listen, that's called motherfucking bars, nigga. But wait, there's more. Even on your best day, you couldn't hurt me. What I look like cutting 30 for a bitch that dropped dirty. Yeah. Now listen, that's called motherfucking bars, nigga. 14 and 0, my record undefeated. Savannah had a 02, so I had to delete it. Yeah. Now listen, that's called motherfucking bars, nigga. Damn. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGAG. I praise God to get buddy back for the YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Y'all know what it is. The doctor's in the house. Hey, yo, so check me out, man. Today, <laughs> today we had Clarissa Shields. Clarissa Shields, a.k.a. the GOAT, man. The greatest woman of all time in boxing. Let me tell it. It's rest of the world. It's rest of the world. You know, in my opinion, she's the greatest of all time. Of course, you have some other other spectacular women in the sport of boxing that you could consider, particularly uh, Layla Ali. Of course, we just saw Sydney Essa Estrada win that undisputed championship. Of course, you have Amanda Serrano. Uh, there's some other greats, you know, even Ann Wolf and um, Katie Taylor, of course. Alicia Bumgarner is great too, but I, in my personal opinion, I think Chris uh, Shields is the greatest to do it. Um, especially right now, but she just dropped a diss track, not just to Alicia Bumgarner, you know, they got their little feud and back and forth, but also to all of her, uh, all of her haters, you know. Trying to come for me, at least you come harder. You reap what you sow, nothing but a bum garden. Hey. Pundits alike, you know, <laughs> active boxers and pundits alike. But I will say this, man. It makes me a little nervous, makes me a little weary because you know how they say you don't play boxing, right? Boxing is very serious. And from what I've noticed in my years of observing this great sport of boxing, which I love being a pugilist enthusiast myself, bro, I noticed that whenever boxers go on a music musical career, whenever they embark on their musical journey, it never bodes well. <laughs> Case in point, number one, we have Roy Jones Jr., man. One of the greatest to ever box, man. You know what I'm saying? He uh, famously had 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 a lot of a lot of success in the music, in his, in his rap career and also in his acting career. He, he acted in um, what was it? he was a thespian in um, Matrix, right? But he he dropped a song, you know, uh, y'all must have forgot. And then in 2004, he uh, created a rap group called Body Headbangers, right? <laughs> Guess when he lost to Antonio Tarver for the first time? 2004. <laughs> coincidence hmm <laughs> and then let's go to oscar de la hoya the golden boy right you know a lot of people don't know this but in uh i'll say like uh back in uh 99 i believe he was uh he, he stumbled upon another talent of his which was music right this is in 99 check it out right here and then 2000 he dropped the album himself right so you got to think yeah it was in 2000 he lost to who felix trinidad in 99 you're saying right yeah, he lost in 99 he didn't drop his album until 2000 how long do you think it, it takes for you to uh, drop an album and when did he lose to felix trinidad at the end of 2009 i believe in september so that means he was working on his album <laughs> most likely during the time he was supposed to be trading for felix trinidad coincidence hmm <laughs> Then, of course, you have Adrian Broner. He's not on the level of success in which, you know, uh, Roy Jones and Oscar De La Hoya were as boxers. You know, they're great. But still, to a lesser degree, Adrian Broner was, was pretty good. And, you know, he had his AB Productions, right? About billions. And guess what he lost shortly after that? Now, of course, the bigger point is that, of course, I'm, I'm just joking. I'm slightly joking, you know, but that's for me. That's like a little superstition, if you will, for me. But, um... The, the, the bigger point is that, you know, you don't play boxing. Boxing is the hurt game. And, of course, more than making music is, is the fact that they have other distractions, you know. So you have to be focused on boxing 100% because your opponent most likely is focused 100%. So you have to match their dedication uh, and their drive. So in order to win a lot of times because the skills 
in boxing are, are, are usually there's only a slight difference that determines a winner and a loser you know so like i said it's not just the music i'm just being funny yet. but at the same time it's the way you get distracted so with the lead with with Clarissa shields it makes me a little nervous because you know she's already doing mma you know she already has these other endeavors and get your money because i really like the song the song's pretty not, not too bad you know for somebody who's not a full-time rapper it's, it's all right you know but then you know she talks talk about still boxing and you just don't want to get distracted so it makes me a little nervous even though the song the song is pretty good bullshit bullshit Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Song is pretty good, but uh, just stick to boxing, baby, please. <laughs> but yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about the song, man. Hey, 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 hey. I, I, I rock with Clarissa, man. I don't want to see her go out because she distracted. You feel me? So y'all be easy, man. Love y'all for real. Remember, with God, we can do anything. Without God, we are nothing. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the song in the comments. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.